take out the bone. I have a bone. I've already washed my hands. I was gonna use your wash your hands before moving a piercing. You may, if you're sitting down, you may want to have a little small mirror so you can make sure that you're directing it in the right hole. You don't want to irritate it. But before I put this in here, I want you to know that I use this. You can always use this because uh, sometimes those piercings get irritated. You see this little blue tip? And it's, it's cleanliness too. You break this off and then the medicine runs down. As you see. And since I took the piercing out, I'm gonna clean on the outside to get it remove any residue or dirt in which are blood or pulse buildup. I've had my piercing for a while. And so see I had a little residue. And I'm gonna do here. You may wanna clean your nose. But you want to uh, use the Q-tip because it's medicine and it's extra strength antibiotic. Uh, you want to use it because sometimes your nose piercing gets sensitive. It's easy that jewelry can, uh, or you pulling a snag and it can irritate it. These Q-tips are real good for that. I've had my piercing for over a year now. Okay, I've cleaned that up, so I'm going to throw that away. And since I've used this right here, I recommend this. We do carry this at Fly E Tattoo Parlor. And if you can see this hook, and technically, you want to make sure your jewelry is clean. And I sometimes do this too. I'll take this or alcohol pad and just clean it. Regardless, that's just me. Take an alcohol swab to clean your nose. You don't have to use these, but you can use alcohol to cleanse your nose. So, since I've done that, if you see this hook right here, my hole is right there. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna focus on placing it inside the hole. I don't want to wiggle it, I just want to find the exact hole. You want to take your time. You want to use your finger as a guide if necessary. Uh, some people holes are bigger, so it's easier for them to get it in. And as you can see, I got it in at the top. So what I'm gonna do, my nose ain't big enough for me to flip it in just so you can see it. But unless you feel it on the inside of your nose. which I feel it on the inside of that hole. If you don't feel it on the inside, then it's not in. It can easily come loose. I'm trying to, yeah, I feel it. And so, if you see it's, it's not as loose as it was, and it's laying flat. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist in. See how much it popped in. It doesn't require that much of a twisting and turn. So this is your tutorial on how to do a screw back nose ring. Stay tuned, this is Fly Ink. So it's no excuse to uh, be scary in doing a change, a piercing change. The main thing is pushing the curve part in there until you feel it underneath here. Once you feel the bottom of it in here, then you twirl it a little and push it down and should automatically pop in. It doesn't require all that twisting and wiggling because if you twist and wiggle, it's going to irritate it. It can make it close up no matter how long you've had it unless you just have a bigger hole. And another thing is if your hole uh, may change based on the jewelry size, 22 gauge, 18 gauge, 16 gauge, depending on what size you get, your hole piercing uh, your nose should shrink to the size of that metal. This is a 14 karat gold cubic zirconia stone. And 
this is what I originally got it pierced back in, but now I'm going it back in. And so for final, I'm gonna turn back around. I'm gonna cleanse my nose with the Q-tip. I'm gonna make sure no bacteria is around it. And that's it. There's my piercing. Thank you.